one common problem that I've seen in App Inventor is getting variables to transfer from one screen to another. So here's a situation where you might want that. I've set up a little game here. Simple game. All I do is click for a point. Pretty easy way to earn points. And then I have two screens. So screen one is where I play the game. Screen two is just going to tell me how many points that I finish the game with. All right. That's simple enough. However, when I'm playing the game, well, first let me show you the code for it. So real quickly here, I've got a variable for my points. When I click the point button, I add one point. It changes the label text so that I can see how many points I have. When I click the end button, it takes me to screen two. I'll wait for my emulator to catch up here. And here we go. So. I click the point button, it sets the point to points plus one, changes the point label to tell me how many points I have right there. I can keep doing that, boom, boom, boom. And then when I click on end game, it takes me to screen two. So, what I wanna do on screen two then is make this label say the number of points that I have from screen one. But if I come to variables, I don't have I don't have my points variable anymore. So I need to get this to save from one screen to the next. Um here's how to do that. At first it's going to seem like a lot of code, but once you understand it, it becomes a little bit more simple. It's pretty much we have to save the variable before we move to the next screen, and then when the next screen opens, we need to open the variable. So that goes like this. I'm going to come into my designer, go under storage, and pull out TinyDB. TinyDB stands for Tiny Database. What that's going to allow us to do is save information to the phone's memory. Then I'll come into the blocks, and I'm going to be dealing with this right here that takes me to my next screen. So I'll take out my TinyDB, and what I need to use is call TinyDB store value. What am I going to store? Well, this tag right here, I'll give it the same name as the variable, and then the value to store will be the value of the variable. If you have multiple variables, you will need to do this for each one of them. But this stores the value of that variable into the phone's memory so that when I go to the next screen, next screen I need to add the tiny db again. So storage, tiny db. And there it is, it's on our non-visible components. Now to open the variable, I will initialize the variable with the same name, and then, did I use capital letter on the last one? I don't remember. Let me see. Yes, it did have capital. So I'm going to come back here, make this capital letter also. However, instead of giving it a starting value, I'm going to come to my tiny db. On the last screen I had store value, so on this screen I'm going to get value get value, I'll use my tag point. It's important to remember this needs to be exactly the same. Capitalization, characters, spacing, exactly the same as what you had on the last screen. And then my value if not there, that's just saying if it goes into the phone's memory and it can't find this value, it'll give it a value of zero. So then, now I'll be able to use my point. And, let's see, I can do something like this. When screen two is initialized, we're going to set points label text to point. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to come back, give my emulator just a minute to catch up.
emulator is running a little bit slow, sorry about that. Okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Now I'll end game, go to the next screen, see what happens. It should have saved my variable, then it will open it on the next screen, and it should say I have ten points. There we are. So that is how to get your variables to transfer from one screen to the next.